Hello everyone, my name is Father Eric Rotten, chaplain here at the University of St. Thomas, and this is Ask Campus Ministry. And our question today has to do with uh, priestly vestments. What's up with all those various kinds of liturgical and priestly vestments that we wear? So, I thought I'd show you a little bit about the elements that go into that. The first is what's called an amice. This is a scarf-like garment, just keeps our neck clean. And then we have a cincture, which goes around our waist and again is kind of a belt of sorts. The other garment we have is called an alb. Alb just means white. It's the white garment that reminds us of our baptism. And not only priests wear this, you'll also see, of course, the deacons, but also servers. And that's to remind us that we are all baptized. We, we come together as the baptized. The main garment that a priest wears, particularly at Mass, at the Eucharist, is called a chasuble. And it comes uh, really out of an ancient Roman tradition. Uh, the word means little house. So we have the chasuble, which is the primary Eucharistic garment. If you have a deacon, a deacon will wear this called a dalmatic. Uh, unlike the poncho or the chasuble, a dalmatic has arms. It's kind of like an oversized t-shirt, if you will. And it is the sign of a deacon. It's the sign of their service. This garment is called a cope, and it looks like a cape, and it sounds like a cape, and that's kind of similarly what it is. Uh, this is a priestly garment that it is worn uh, for liturgies other than the Eucharist. So it could be for a wedding, a baptism, could be for liturgy of the hours. And again, it's meant to kind of focus uh, the role of the priest as presider of the liturgy. And oftentimes angels will be depicted in art as wearing a cope. So these are all the various kinds of vestments that priests wear and deacons wear in our liturgies. I hope that's been helpful. We ask you to continue to send in your questions to Ask Campus Ministry. This is Father Eric Rutten signing out.